Uh, first of all, I would like uh, to criticize our development partners for continuing to give a lot of aid to President Museveni's government despite the clarity of its gross human rights violations, its record, its, its, its clear record of, of abusing uh, human rights, of imprisoning people without trial in safe houses, of torturing people, of, of, of cracking down on opposition demonstrations, of, of curtailing basic freedoms, such as freedom to, 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 freedom to information. You've heard uh, of the anti-terrorism law yeah. that uh, punishes any publication of news that is likely to, to, to incite to terrorism, <laughs> to, 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 cause, to cause terrorism. What's the definition of inciting terrorism? Who defines it? <laughs> so the donor community knows that President Museveni is one of Africa's worst tyrants. If you look at his style of governance, he has excelled in nothing apart, apart from repression. He has consolidated his rule by abusing the fundamental rights of Ugandans. Despite that being very clear, the donors have continued to give him a lot of aid, have continued to legitimize his government, have continued to look at him as an ally. They have even uh, continued to support him. They have continued to, 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 to facilitate him to promote peace elsewhere, peace in Somalia. How can he establish peace in Somalia when he's busy oppressing his own people at home? So we feel the US government and all the powerful governments in the world and all the donor agencies have betrayed the people of Uganda by continuously supporting a tyrant. And for that matter, my message to those powerful countries, to the aid agencies, is that they should put a lot of pressure on the President of the government, the kind of pressure they have put on President Umar Hassan al-Bashir of Sudan, the kind of pressure they are putting on Iran, the kind of pressure they are putting on, 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 on North Korea. Because Museveni is hardly different from al-Bashir. Museveni is not different from Kim, Kim Jong-il of North Korea. Museveni is, not, is even worse than Ahmadinejad of, of, of Iran. Okay. Museveni is killing his own people, he's tormenting his own people, he's stealing their resources. So what justifies Western continued support for such a brutal tyrant? We feel we have been let down by those people and we feel they should stop uh, the kind of support they are giving President Museveni if the people of Uganda are to be liberated from oppression. How do you rate the current youth involvement in politics? Because the youth are the dominant population. We are the ones to effect change. We, have, we are vibrant, we are young and powerful. Do you think we've been uh, perhaps subjugated so that we don't raise up against the status quo? Uh, the, 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 there is no doubt uh, that the youth remain largely a vulnerable group in Uganda society, especially in, in politics. This, in part, uh, uh, is rooted in the African traditional culture, whereby uh, young people uh, 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 tend to be uh, tend to be overlooked, uh, tend to be th their potential their potential is normally underestimated. They are they are supposed to 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 to, to, to keep quiet when the elders are, are discussing. In a typical African setting, a young person is not supposed to speak when the elders are speaking. Who are you to speak when the elders are talking? So uh, that, 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 that kind of culture has, has inspired the kind of marginalization that is taking place in, in our political parties. There have been efforts to, 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 to empower the youth. For instance, international organizations such, such as IRI, NDI, FES have attempted to equip young people with leadership skills so that they can be relevant in their political parties and uh, as a result, emerge as, uh, uh, as, as useful and creative players within their political parties. Mm. Unfortunately, these trainings are in, uh, uh, insufficient because, first of all, they target a very small group of young people, and the vast majority uh, remain untrained, remain unskilled in leadership. Uh, and for that matter, they are normally used in political parties to, 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 to execute, to carry out uh, to carry out insignificant duties, for instance, distributing campaign posters, flyers, or throwing stones uh, <laughs> against opponents, they are manipulated, they are exploited, uh, used to, to, to perpetrate violence, 
those, those are the major functions, the major roles of young people in political parties. So they remain uh, a marginalized uh, group. Uh, government uh, introduced a policy whereby uh, the five regions of Uganda have youth representatives in parliament. But again, the voices of these MPs, youth, youth MPs, are not heard. We have not heard them, for instance, presenting any pro-youth bill in parliament. We have not heard them expressing themselves on any issue that, that concerns uh, the, 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 the young people. So we feel the MPs, uh, the youth MPs, are largely irrelevant to, 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 youth, to, youth, to youth, to youth empowerment. So young people generally in Uganda remain marginalized. They, they are manipulated, used to do the dirty work of their political part, of their organizations, the kind of work that their leaders cannot do. So they still have, they still really have a very long way, a very long way to go. Yeah, there are, are cases where young people have risen to positions of prominence in their political parties. For instance, uh, uh, the Secretary General of the PPP, the People's Progressive Party, is a young man of around 30 years. Uh, the President of JEMA, uh, Justice Forum Party, is a young man of about 33 years. Uh, surely there are cases where young people have risen to positions of prominence. Unfortunately, these cases are the exceptions, not the name, not the, 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 the norm. Uh, besides, uh, in cases where young people have risen to those offices, they hold those offices in name. They are not allowed to exercise any meaningful power. The real power remains in the hands of the elders. The, 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 these young people are just ceremonial leaders. Mm -hmm. They are just there uh, without, without any, uh, any authority. They don't wield an authority in the organization. So th 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 that's actually a mockery. It's not a, a, an effort to empower young people. It has not empowered young people at all because they, they, you, you cannot be empowered when you have no say, you have, you know, you have no authority. Mm? So the young people remain marginalized even when some of them might be seen in positions of authority.